Hello guys, welcome back to another new video. Previously in the Metasploitable series, uh, we have seen uh, how we can exploit XSS vulnerabilities and SQL vulnerabilities. So now we are going to cover the remaining small vulnerabilities which are present in the DVWA app. So the first one which we are going to see is called file upload vulnerability. So these type of vulnerabilities are rarely found but uh, these can ca cause a lot of damage if uh, not fixed properly so let's see how we can exploit these type of vulnerabilities okay so we are going to use uh, dvwa in order to learn about file upload vulnerabilities which is a part of metasploitable uh, this metasploitable machine is running on my local network so i can access it through my kali machine so i will just go inside dvwa and here i will give the default id and password which is uh, needed so the default username and password here is admin and password see we are inside the dvwa now so the first thing we need to do is set the dvwa security to low make sure this is set to low or else we won't be able to exploit the vulnerability so now we need to go to the upload tab here so this basically is a, a scenario where this type of vulnerability can be found so let's say you are using a web application or a website which allows you to upload a particular type of file let's say for instance an image so it will give you an option to upload an image from your computer so let me show you what's actually going wrong here so as soon as i click on browse it opens a window and now i can see all the files in my system and i can upload any file from here so if you notice there is one problem here that it's allowing me to select any type of file i want so that means that uh, i can upload any type of file uh, using this uh, file manager here so i can upload a php shell or a executable file or anything i want but the site expects me to upload an image but this thing is uh, allowing me to upload any file i want so this basically is uh, happening due to a programming error so let me show you what's actually going wrong here so for that i will just right click on this and i will click on inspect element so inspect element will show us the html code of that particular element so here as you can see this is an input element if you are familiar with html you must be knowing about this so now here you can see that uh, this input tag is accepting a file so the developer has not specified here that what type of file should be uploaded strictly so the user can upload any type of file and that file will be uploaded to the website server and this can be dangerous the user can do anything it he wants so let's see how we can uh, exploit this vulnerability we will generate a php backdoor which we will upload here and then we will try to get a session back so for that i am going to use a tool called weebly so weebly is a tool which can generate a php backdoors which we can uh, upload here and get a shell back from so weebly comes uh, pre-installed in kali linux so we know, do not need to worry about that uh, let's say for instance you are using any other dist distribution then you can just simply go to the github repository of the tool and you can download it from there it's very easy so here let's first check that uh, the tool is present or not so here i'll just type weebly and then i will hit enter so as you can see it says that weebly 4.0 Point one and it's giving an error because we did not pass any arguments here it expects some arguments to be passed so first thing we need to do is we need to generate our uh, php backdoor which we are going to use uh, in order to get a session from that website or the that web server so for that i need to type weebly generate and then i need to pass two uh, arguments here first will be the password and the second will be the path of the file so the password is required when we try to connect uh, to our uh, backdoor which we generate or the payload which we generate so let's say for instance i am giving the password as kali and then i will specify the path which is the current directory which is home slash kali slash backdoor dot php which is the name of the 
backdoor file which we are going to generate so here now as soon as i press enter it should generate the file for me so here as you can see it says uh, that the file has been generated so let's check if the file is present or not so here as you can see we have our uh, php backdoor here so now we will uh, upload it to the website and then we will try to get a uh, session back so here i will go here and i will just click on browse it's allowing me to upload any type of file here so now i will just select my backdoor here and i will click on open and then i will click on upload so here as you can see it says that uh, the file has been uploaded successfully and it's also giving me the location of the file where it is stored so in uh, real life scenarios uh, the website won't probably show you uh, the url of that file or where it is stored exactly on the server so you need to find out that there are various tools available for that you can just check out i will cover uh, any such tool maybe in the future but for now we have the path here so we will see how this can be exploited so now we have successfully uploaded our backdoor here so we now just need to go inside our terminal and we need to get the session back here so first i will type weebly and then i will just uh, copy this link from here so i need to copy it till dbwa So here I will append this location to the URL. And now I just need to give the password which I generated which was Kali. And as soon as I hit enter I should get a session back. So here as you can see we have received the session so i can just type ls to confirm so here as you can see i can see all the files which are available here so these are the files that we can also navigate to the directory and perform a various uh, number of tasks so i will type help and here it should give me all the options which i can use so here as you can see these are the options i can use in this session and i can do a lot of things so that was it for file upload vulnerabilities so before ending this video let me show you how to fix uh, this type of vulnerabilities it is very simple so here in html uh, tag input tag which we saw so in order to fix this type of vulnerabilities we just need to add this thing here which says accept is equal to in double quotes image class star so this means that uh, the user can upload any specific type of image let it be png or jpg image but uh, the user cannot uh, but the user cannot upload any other type of file uh, like phps or executable files so this will uh, basically fix the vulnerability and that was it for this video thanks for watching